Hi friends, uh, my name is Natras, working for Naresh Technologies. Uh, today I am recording this video for a purpose. Uh, and we all know that world is uh, talking about Corona, Corona. And uh, due to outbreaking of this virus, so like uh, the government of Telangana, the government of India has uh, kept some restrictions on social gatherings. And we all know that uh, in Amipet, we gather in hundreds uh, to attend the classes, uh, to gain the knowledge and to build our uh, IT career. So, since uh, the restrictions have come from uh, the government, okay, we have to follow it. And uh, for our, to safeguard ourselves from coronavirus, and it's uh, better to uh, like avoid social gathering. Okay, by keeping that in mind, so since we feel learning is a continuous process, and that too we are in a modern uh, digital era, so the management of Naresh Technology has taken initiation of what conducting the regular classroom uh, training through online. So that means everything will be same. Your timings will be same, your subject will be same, your faculty will be same, everything remains same. The only the thing is, instead of assembling physically in a single particular room, we will be assembling virtually through the internet support. Apart from that, nothing changes. Nothing changes, everything remains same, your faculty remains same, your classroom timings remain same. In fact, uh, the way you interact with your faculty almost going to be the same. The only the thing is, it's not going to be physical interaction, it's going to be what? Virtual interaction. And we are using a software called Zoom Meetings. And as you know that it's a very popular one uh, for online meetings. And if you are working for a software company and most of your uh, meetings will happen through this what? Uh, Zoom meetings. And uh, somehow we got a licensed version. So that's why we are going to have lot of, lot of advantages and very, very uh, less problems. So since we are working with the licensed version, we are going to take full advantage of it. So as I said, uh, we are providing two options to you people to log into this particular Zoom meetings. Uh, two options. Number one, use website directly. Use website directly. That's the one way. And number two is by providing link through SMS or email. Mm. Let's see the option number one. What is this? We have a site called zoom.us. Okay, we have a site called zoom.us. Let me show that one practically. Choose your choice browser. Uh, fine. Zoom.us. Yeah, this is the site. There is a small link here. Join a meeting. Join a meeting. Yeah, this is very important section. You will be providing one meeting ID. So, how to get this meeting ID? What are the all these are? If you are attending four classes per day, four different meeting IDs will be there. Mark my word. How many? Four different meeting IDs will be there. 7 a.m. batch one separate meeting ID, 9 a.m. batch separate meeting ID and you have to submit that meeting ID. Suppose you are attending two topics of same course parallelly. Uh, for example, you are a student of Advanced Java. So, you are attending JDBC Sarlet parallelly. So, then you have to gather two different meeting IDs. Suppose you are taking JDBC in 11 o'clock slot and taking Sarlet in 4 o'clock slot. And it's your responsibility to gather 11 o'clock separate meeting ID and 4 o'clock separate meeting ID. Because officially you will be marked as a single batch student. But because of your personal interest and time constraint, you are taking two classes parallelly. So that's why it's your responsibility or student responsibility to gather two different meeting IDs. Is that clear? Right. So for demonstration purpose, I have one meeting ID. So what is this? Double nine, it's uh, generally nine digits meeting ID here. Triple one, I have three four five nine. Three four five nine. Here is what join option. 
it is it will be a small form boss you have to fill up uh, this is a customized form like uh, we we enable this form to keep track of who is attending who is not attending so that some monitoring mechanism will be there right or oh, fill up all the details i'm just continue the default one i'm just giving some dummy phone number course name let us assume you are a student of spring faculty name let's assume you are taking faculty of courses from me regular classroom timing regular classroom timing so if you are attending two topics of one course parallelly two topics of one course parallelly so try to write your original batch timings uh, for example you are attending spring 6 pm and uh, spring 7 am but originally you belongs to 6 pm but you are also taking classes of what 7 am parallelly and try to write the the original batch where you belong to so i am just writing uh, 6 pm that's it and uh, a small captcha is there uh, to confirm that you are not a robo you are a human being fine so join meeting join meeting yes a, at this stage uh, like a small small uh, downloading and installation of zoom related softwares will be there nothing to worry fine uh, just uh, uh, join with the computer audio it will just check some uh, peripherals that are there in your system so after some initial formalities uh, like uh, uh, if faculty is about to uh, like begin the session you will get a message to wait uh, if faculty has already started the session is a screen will be shared to you Uh, is a desktop will be shared to you for example he is operating with command prompt you can see that command prompt he is operating notepad you can see that he is operating some other window yes we can definitely see this so i think uh, the faculty who is running this session has opened the notepad and he has typed one message called what welcome to naresh it so like here you can entirely listen the session and you may ask me the question how to raise the questions how to go for uh, like uh, my suggestion is uh, maximum try to listen maximum try to listen uh, and i one more suggestion i will try to you whenever you have a doubt try to give 10 minutes time to yourself to raise that question because i believe most of your small small doubts will be covered in next 5 to 10 minutes discussion so if after that also if faculty is not addressing the point that you want yes uh, since we disabled video and audio options okay so but we are providing one option of what chatting so there is a option called chat so fine uh, now i will write uh, hi so the faculty like the person who is acting as a tutor there faculty there he will reply like this uh, we can go for what conversation but my simple advice uh, as long as session is going on listen carefully at the end of the session uh, take the privilege of what chatting your faculty and to clarify your doubt and moreover uh, we have disabled personalized chats also whatever message you kept it will be visible to all the members who are attending in the team so personalized one to one chats are not enabled so let me explain this one video is disabled audio is disabled only public chatting is enabled so that's why so stop using abuse words in the chat windows so stick and uh, like if that kind of things are observed we don't hesitate to block you taking the classes further uh that's it uh i think uh, i hope you got the maximum information that is required and uh, it's a very simple like it's not a big thing at all okay so like if you have a basic uh, like uh, how to use website knowledge so with that knowledge you can happily uh, start enjoying these live classes i hope you'll take full benefit of these sessions and uh, happy learning and keep smiling thank you